hello guys i'm back with another video and it's actually kind of a sad one um i don't know if you guys could tell with the camera lens but kiwi is actually bleeding at the moment before anyone gets mad at me i cannot actually take her to the vet because they are fully booked and we just had our mayor say that everywhere is on lockdown starting tomorrow no starting wednesday so my vet is fully booked for tomorrow and then on one day and onward until further notice they are not going to be open and um right now my vet did say i have to monitor her i do not know what caused it so i know someone's gonna ask me that i do not know what caused it um and it's slightly dried up but i could see slightly um, flesh as well and I really don't know what to do I did put some corn on it corn flour it does help a little bit um, uh, with stopping the bleeding um, so yeah um, I just wanted to do a quick update I will be messaging few places. My vet did send out links. Um, we could message those places and hopefully they consider vet offices being open. Um, and not to mention my vet already um, for the past a week and a half or so, they were already uh, making important um, guidelines when it comes to coming to the vet. So regular vet visits anywhere are not allowed anymore. Um, only emergencies or surgery related uh, visits were allowed so again this would I would consider it um, an important emergency the good news is it's not bleeding profusely but I don't know what caused it and she looks also very stressed let me see my phone calling actually so I had to pick up that phone sorry about that guys um, I am gonna separate Kiwi at the time being Kiwi I think she would benefit from a quiet place and I know Edward's not gonna really like it but I don't know what caused it down below I'll write to you guys like I'll have a small caption explaining if it was Blossom um, because I you can never you never know even with the same species birds could fight and fight deadly um initially when i saw her beak um it's not even her beak like her seer i assumed that kiwi was um preening edward which edward's at the back you can't really uh, see edward really well but edward has a lot of pin feathers like a lot so i initially assumed that kiwi was preening edward and somehow kiwi accidentally broke a pin feather like a blood feather on edward's um feathers but when I looked at Edward, Edward has no blood on his um, head and stuff. So I'm like, okay. Um, and I was re really worried. I actually didn't check Blossom. But if Blossom did bite her, Blossom will have some um, blood or something on um, her beak. So I'm going to check Blossom out. I hope that's not the reason. But that's the only way I could kind of be, be sure. Um... So if it is Blossom, I'll probably have a caption explaining to you guys, hey guys, it's, it's Blossom. So I'll try getting a close up. I don't really want to stress out um, Kiwi a lot, to be honest. And as you could tell, she's already panting. So I'm gonna get my cage ready. I have a spare cage, kind of blurry. I'm gonna get my spare cage ready for Kiwi, and maybe I'll even videotape to you guys um, how it's looking for her. But for the time being, hopefully, hopefully it's nothing serious. But I am worried, so I'll keep you guys updated. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't go to my vet. They're fully booked, and even when they're fully booked, be mindful that all those bookings are emergency. Or surgery related like my vet is not booking any regular appointments no trim nail trimmings no beak trimmings no general checkups none of those so the, the bookings are already at self emergencies and you know there's nothing I could do and I mentioned it earlier the mayor has put um, at least in my area um, Toronto we're gonna be on lockdown starting tomorrow nighttime and 
like I said, my vet's fully booked. Um, they might be able to squeeze me in if the bleeding still continues or it looks like it's dried. I, I know it's hard to tell on camera, but there's a lot, a bit dark spots. So it looks like it's drying up, but I am going to separate her for at least a week or so just so she heals up and I'll keep you guys updated about her health. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys keep her in your prayers. Thank you guys. If anything changes, I'll keep you guys updated.